so I feel like that's a really big question, but I would say that I'm a scholar foremost. Um, and I like to be in a lot of clubs, so I would describe myself as being very involved in the school, especially here at Memorial, um, in my community, in my parish. It's a bit bittersweet, I would say. Um, I've been looking forward to the future for quite some time, just hoping to see what college I would attend. But now that the day is like closer, I'm very sad to leave so many great memories behind my friends, all of these great classes and the teachers that I've met here at Memorial. So it's definitely bittersweet for me. So I would say that um, being here for the past four years has definitely allowed me to grow as a person. I remember stepping on the campus my freshman year. I was this small, terrified, nervous freshman. Um, I didn't really talk to anyone. I was super nervous to be here. But I would say that in the past four years, I've had the opportunity to really grow as a person um, and make sure that my voice is heard, especially here on campus, and just learn how to use my own voice for the better. So um, my family and I chose to commute to SJM mostly because I've attended a private Catholic school my entire life and that's sort of the education that has worked best for me and where I can really um, just blossom in both my faith and my um, education. So I would say that we chose that commute mostly because we saw SJM as a great opportunity for me to become this person that I wanted to be. So I'm not really involved in any sports, um, but I do um, participate in many clubs and um, student organizations such as World Languages Club. I am the co-president of that club and I have been for the past two years. I've been an SGM ambassador for the past three years. Um, and I've also been a part of S Club and um, National History Honor Society for the past like three to four years as well. I grew up um, speaking both Spanish and English. Um, my family does speak Spanish fluently, so that is one of the languages that I can speak best. Um, this past summer, I, um, stro I tried to learn Mandarin, so I did take a course at Fresno City um, for Mandarin, and I was able to learn about that language as well. So um, Las Posadas first happened when I was a freshman here, thanks to the presidents in the club. Um, during that year and the moderator, Miss Luna. Um, and it also happened, I believe, my sophomore year. Unfortunately, during junior year, we were unable to have the Las Posadas occur. But yes, this year we were able to make it happen and it was a great event. We had, I believe, over 300 students and parents come. Um, and it was a great opportunity for everyone to just come together and just sing together and learn more about the cultures that are present here at Memorial, especially both the Italian classes and the Spanish classes, which was great. I would say one of my favorite memories here at Memorial has been having the AP Lit Pride and Prejudice Tea Party with Miss Fry. Miss um, Fry was one of the teachers that I just had the opportunity to be a part of um, this year, but it has been one of my most favorite memories at Memorial because I was able to do it with my friends um, and focus on a book that I absolutely love. I'm a huge Jane Austen fan, so that was a great time for me. Um, another memory would be, I believe, Panther Palooza my freshman year. Um, I had not been, um, I had not known much about it, but it was a great opportunity. And then I also recently went on Kairos, um, like a few weeks ago, and that was a great opportunity as well. Um, I had always heard so much about it, and I didn't really have much knowledge of it until I truly went and was able to experience that. Um, my biggest takeaway would be that it is an, a great opportunity to grow closer to God and others. Um, I went in to Kairos thinking, oh, I'm at a good relationship with others and with God, and I was proved very wrong. Um, I did not realize how much I could learn about myself and how I could strengthen my relationship with those around me as well as God until I went to Kairos and was able to live that and live the fourth, as they say. I would say that it's important for me to receive a faith-based education because um, faith has played a 
significant role in my life and just being able to live in my faith here, especially on campus, it allows me to be a better person and focus on how my relationships with others will go on as I progress into college. As I previously said, I was very timid coming to Memorial, but my mind was challenged and I was forced to, not forced, but challenged to um, see all of these different perspectives and just try to encounter them to the best of my ability and see how many different lenses and like all of that that I could see. I would say that my family, I'm beyond grateful for my family and all that they have done for me, especially providing me the ability to come to Memorial. Um, they've always played a significant role in my life and I believe that coming to Memorial has just allowed me to see that even more. Most definitely. Um, I have a good group of friends that I'm very fond of and I look forward to staying in touch with them actually um, even as we all go to different colleges and universities but yes. Wow there's so much. Um, I would say the community and the feeling of home that is present here, present here at Memorial um, that is something that has also played a large role in my life and time here at Memorial. I think it does a great job at doing so. I feel like um, it's a very welcoming environment and community um, and it just strives to include all students from different backgrounds, different um, lifestyles, so I think it does a great job. I would say to be open to all of the possibilities here at Memorial. So I'm hoping to attend UC Berkeley. That is my top choice right now. But I am also looking at Pepperdine and Loyola Marymount University. Where will you be in life five or even 10 years from now? So I hope to graduate preferably from UC Berkeley and go on to law school and become an immigration or human rights lawyer. Um, who are your two favorite teachers and why? Oh, that's a tough one, actually. Um, there's so many teachers that I'm very fond of. Um, I would say that two of the teachers that have played the most significant role in my life are, are Ms. Fry and Mr. Borges. Um, I've just known them since I was a freshman almost and they've helped me grow as a person and academically as well. How do you feel about our AP and Honors courses? Do you feel they challenged and motivated you? I absolutely loved the AP and Honors courses here at Memorial. Um, I was very challenged by all of the courses that I took here. I believe I took like seven plus AP courses and around four plus honors courses. And I feel like they definitely challenged me to pursue um, these other mindsets and um, see all of these different perspectives. So I think they were a great opportunity. Yeah.